What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are here in New York City at the Creed Boutique on Madison Avenue to check out some of their best summer fragrances. So here we are, I am being joined today by Mr. Rodney Rosario, the general manager here at the Creed Boutique on Madison Avenue in the Upper East Side of New York City. We're gonna walk you through some of my favorite picks for summer from Creed, and Rodney's gonna give you all of the information. So let's just get started with this one right here. This is Milseem Imperial. This was actually the very first fragrance from Creed that I got, so tell us a little bit about this one. Well, you know what? We have something in common, Brian. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was my very first introduction to Creed as well. Um, this was introduced in 1996, and it's our refreshing, and it's the gold standard when it comes to refreshing fragrances within our collection. Um, just, it's something that is light, fresh, and it has a, a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it's not something over the top. It's very, very, very smooth. I think, I think I saw this in a magazine spread, and it said that this was one that maybe Prince Harry wore. Uh, actually, you know, uh, the, the story behind this is that it was, it's what I mentioned earlier, it was like the gold standard and it, it's, it was uh, inspired by a seaside palace by a prince from Saudi. Okay, so let's, let's actually smell this one right Yeah, now. absolutely. So, and the first note that you'll notice is that it, it's very invigorating and fresh. It has a little bit of Sicilian lemons. It also has a, a little bit of a, a sweet mandarin note to it. And it has a little sandalwood as a base note. Yeah, it's fresh and masculine at the yeah. same time. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. So moving right along to my second pick, this is Neroli Sauvage. Well, yes, Neroli Sauvage was introduced in 1994. Now, this fragrance this also has this Neapolitan, fresh, very Italian um, notes to it. So it's, it's grapefruit, it's mandarin. There is um, some ambergris at the base, and it's very refreshing. As soon as you smell it, super fresh. Mm. So it was actually inspired by the 17th century Duchess uh, Nerola, which was outside of, out of Rome, and she used to have these luscious summer parties, and so they used to hand out Neroli flour, and people used to crush it on their necks, and that's like that invigorating smell that you get. Yeah, a lot of um, summer fragrances have a, that citrusy smell mm -hmm. to it, but Absolutely. this one in true Creed form is very subtle and mm -hmm. elegant. That's what I find with this one. Yeah. Next, we have one with a great story. This is called Arofa. Yes. So Arofa was actually, uh, the inspiration behind it was that the Creed family went sailing. Well, Olivier Creed went sailing with his, with his family. So he would take Erwin, Olivia, and Fabian, which was their mother, to, uh, to the Mediterranean in the summers. So it's very oceanic. Mm -hmm. So when you smell it, you can close your eyes and just smell the fresh ocean air. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. All right, closing my eyes. Oh yeah, I'm in the Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very citrusy, has a little bit of saltiness to it. Yeah, I was gonna say there's some salinity yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. It's fresh and distinct, you know, I think like a lot of times you think about fresh fragrances and they can all kind of seem similar, mm -hmm. um, but each of these is so different and this one is very unique. Well, you know, going to our, our rich history, we're the, one, we're the only fragrance house in the world that uses a 4,000 year old technique to make our fragrances. So nobody does it any longer. Wow. And so, <laughs> Mr. Olivier Creed travels the world to find the, ra the rarest materials to, to use in his fragrances. This one I know very well. This is original vetiver. Yes. It's my go-to <laughs> summer. I'm, I'm wearing it. <laughs> yeah. So there's, you know, this is, this is like understated elegance again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're wearing this 
and the first thing that you notice is it has that green note. So Grassy. that would make yes. So vetiver, if you didn't know what it is, vetiver is a grass, and the best vetiver comes from Haiti. And so what makes us original in this case, because most uh, most vetiver scents, they extract the oils from the root, but our vetiver, they extract the oils from the leaves as well as the root. So you get a bit of a mix. Yes. This one I like, it's such a perfect, like everyday summer fragrance. You can't go wrong with this one. Next we have one called Pure White Cologne. Just the name alone is intriguing. Yes. And I know it has a great story behind it. Yes. So Pure White Cologne is something within our, our collection. It's called the Royal Exclusive Collection. It is the crown jewel of our, all of our fragrances. So now this is more tailored. It's just the way that you are right now. So this is just very light, very dressed tailored, understated, and elegant at the same time. So once you get a whiff of this, you'll know what I'm talking about. So again, they use mandarin in this, they use a little bit of bergamot, they use ambergris and white musk. Thank you for the compliment. Like pure white cologne, a little <laughs> goes a long way. Yes. Yeah, I get a little bit of a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like I smell a little bit of floral in here as well. It doesn't have a full note, oh, and but, wrong. <laughs> but, but, but it is fresh and it is you know, invigorating and it is very, very luxurious. So this is what it's basically, if you looked at the entire collection for the Royal Exclusives, it's what defines the Cree family and the Cree, what they do, have been doing for seven generations. Again, I think it's very subtle. It's a very elegant, it's a very understated, mm -hmm. as you say. All right. I think it's perfect for summer. Absolutely. Finally, moving on to a brand new uh, fragrance in the collection. This is Aventus Cologne. Mm -hmm. I've had the opportunity to smell it, and being a fan of the original Aventus, mm -hmm. it's a little bit different. Yeah. So this is the latest in terms of our collection for Creed. Um, it's inspired by the original scent that was created nine years ago, which was strong, it had a presence to it, and this is universal. This is actually culminates the Aventus trilogy. We came out with Aventus for her three years ago, and that was the ladies' version of the Aventus, and then this is our universal uh, expressive scent. Let's talk called. about differences between original Aventus and Aventus Cologne? Well, there is a difference. Everybody's going to compare one to the other, but in reality, it's a whole totally different scent. The first thing that comes to, to mind is that you say Aventus Cologne, if people are going to think it's a cologne, when it actually is an eau de parfum. So the, the fact that it's very fresh, uh, it, it's, it has citrus mandarin, it has a little bit of ginger, there's some patchouli, there is uh, vetiver in it, birchwood, and musk. So it's a perfect combination. It's, it's just the perfect summer scent. It's masculine. One of the things I noticed uh, being a fan of the original Aventus is there's a kind of a pineapple note mm -hmm. in the original Aventus that I don't get quite as much of in the Aventus Cologne. Well, Aventus Cologne wouldn't have it. It's totally different. Totally different. So it uses as a top, as a top note citrus mandarin. Right. So there is also, again, ginger in it, so it gives you a little bit of a bite. And then it also has these notes of patchouli, vetiver, birchwood, a little bit of musk to just keep it smooth and very light. Yeah, all, I think all of these fragrances are perfect everyday fragrances, but they're elegant in such a way that they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. If you're going to a nice event, you could wear any of these and feel. I think that each one has a lot of versatile aspects about it. I think that um, if you took the new Aventus Cologne and you wore it at night, it would be perfect for a summer night. Um, if you were going out to a black tie affair, I'd be wearing pure white cologne. If I'm going to work every single day, I'll be wearing original vetiver. If I'm going to a 
uh, an outing, a golf outing, I'm wearing Neroli Sauvage. And then if I, I'm going on a date, blind date. What's the blind date? <laughs> What's the blind date fragrance we need to know? Melissima All right. <laughs> well, Rodney, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through uh, six amazing summer fragrances by Creed. Leave your favorites down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay tailored.